Hey there, folks. This is Rob Wells here with you from the law office of Robert M. Wells. Our office helps out landlords and property managers deal with their landlord-tenant situations and problems. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, whether or not you can terminate a tenancy for cause or just cause under the Tenants Protection Act of 2019 for a tenant that maintains a nuisance. Uh, before I begin, though, landlords, property managers, if you're dealing with a situation where your tenant is committing a nuisance or you're dealing with any other uh, landlord tenant situation or problem, please feel free to reach out to us below. Now, let's begin. Now, uh, question is, can you terminate a tenancy for just cause under the Tenants Protection Act for when a tenant commits a nuisance? And the answer is absolutely yes. Now, nuisance is kind of a tricky issue to deal with. Um, the, the nuisance is that the Tenants Protection Act um, is talking about in the act is, are ones that are dealing with um, illegal activities, for example, because they incorporate the Code of Civil Procedure, uh, Section 1161, Subdivision 4. That subdivision is really used to deal with serious um, violations of, of nuisance such as your tenant is engaged in criminal activity or the nuisances are so grave and um, concerning that a tenant should not be given the opportunity to cure their behavior. Um, most nuisances in my opinion don't fall in this realm. Occasionally we do have certain factual situations where the tenant is engaged in serious criminal conduct, which is affecting the public health and safety of the surrounding community. And at that point, I would use um, a three day notice to quit. Uh, and we would cite the Tenants Protection Act and Section um, 1161, Subdivision 4, citing the reasons in the notice why we are terminating the tenancy. Um, and you do that with a three-day notice to quit. There is no opportunity to cure that violation. The tenant must leave the premises within three days or else you're filing an unlawful detainer or an eviction case in court. Um, I tend to go with, like in the last video, I tend to use curable three-day notices. And if the tenant continues to persist with violating their lease or whatnot, then we issue a three-day notice to quit. Three day no issuing a three day notice to quit off the bat, in my opinion, it ha a judge won't terminate a tenancy unless it's a grave or serious issue that um, the landlord is facing, um, such as like criminal activity or there's some type of safety issue, that type of deal. Those are just my thoughts. Um, in particular, these are really highly factual scenarios where if your case is borderline, um, you know, my my preference is to go with a curable three day notice to perform, allow them to cure and then issue a notice to quit if the per behavior persists. So long story short, what that means is you probably want to speak with good landlord counsel just to go over the certain facts. If you're in a situation where you think you may have a nuisance situation, because if you end up being incorrect, you could be starting your case over again. So again, Landlords, property managers, if you're facing this type of uh, situation where your tenant is causing some type of nuisance at the property, um, you can reach out to us below. And until next time, folks, we'll talk to you then. Thanks.